Hi, and welcome to Jesus for All 2. God's Word, Your Daily Bread, for October 11th, 2021. Here you will hear daily readings of God's Word, the Bible, with the goal of hearing half of the Bible. I expect us to complete the Bible by the end of January 9th, 2022. The book of John, chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And verse 14 says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 4, Jesus said, it says, But Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. The it is written comes from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 3. Amen. And Ephesians 6, chapter 6, verse 6 to 16 says, Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And finally, John chapter 6, verse 63 reads, It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit, and they are life. And these are the words of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who is the Word, who is God, who is the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and by faith, and by hearing the Word, our faith is increased according to Romans 10 17 so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God and we just read that Ephesians says taking the shield of faith with which you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one so with the shield of faith and with the Word of God you are more than a conqueror in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and now the Bible God's Word Today, Psalms 29 and Psalms 30, Proverb 11, because it is the 11th day of the month, and there are 31 Proverbs, one for each day. The Old Testament reading will be from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 1 through chapter 56, verse 12. And the New Testament reading will be from the book of Ephesians, chapter 17, in the name of Jesus Christ. All scriptures are taken from the New King James Version of the Bible, copyright 1982 by Thomas Nelson, Incorporated, used by permission, all rights reserved. Amen. And now, Psalm 29, which is attributed to David, and it reads, Give unto the Lord, O you mighty ones, give unto the Lord glory and strength, give unto the Lord the glory due his name, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. Yes, the Lord splinters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes them also skip like a calf. Lebanon and Siron like a young wild ox. Verse 7. The voice of the Lord divides the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The voice shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the deer give birth and strips the forest bare. And in his temple, everyone says glory. Verse 10, the Lord sat enthroned at the flood and the Lord sits as king forever. Verse 11 and last, the Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Amen and amen and amen and Psalm 30 also attributed to David and it reads I will extol you O Lord for you have lifted me up and have not let my foes rejoice over me O Lord my God I cried out to you and you healed me O Lord you brought my soul up from the grave you have kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. For his anger is but for a moment, his favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. 
Now in my prosperity I said I shall never be moved. Verse 7, Lord, by your favor you have made my mountain stand strong. You hid your face, and I was troubled. I cried out to you, O Lord, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood when I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it declare your truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Lord, be my helper. Verse 11, You have turned for me my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with gladness. Verse 12 and last, To the end that my glory may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. Amen and amen. And now, Proverb 11. And it reads, Dishonest scales are an abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. When pride comes, then comes shame, but with the humble is wisdom. The integrity of the upright will guide them, but the perversity of the unfaithful will destroy them. Riches do not profit in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the blameless will direct his way aright, but the wicked will fall by his own wickedness. The righteousness of the upright will deliver them, but the unfaithful will be caught by their lust. Verse 7. When a wicked man dies, his expectation will perish, and the hope of the unjust perishes. The righteous is delivered from trouble, and it comes to the wicked instead. The hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge the righteous will be delivered. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices. And when the wicked perish, there is jubilation. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. He who is devoid of wisdom despises his neighbor, but a man of understanding holds his peace. A talebearer reveals secrets, but he who is of a faithful spirit conceals a matter. Where there is no counsel, the people fa fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. He who is surety for a stranger will suffer, but one who hates being surety is secure. Verse 16, a gracious woman retains honor, but ruthless men retain riches. The merciful man does good for his own soul, but he who is cruel troubles his own flesh. The wicked man does deceptive work, but he who sows righteousness will have a sure reward. As, the righteous leads to, as righteousness leads to life, so he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. Those who are of a perverse heart are an abomination to the Lord, but the blameless in their ways are his delight. Verse 21, though they join forces, the wicked will not go unpunished, but the posterity of the righteous will be delivered. As a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a lovely woman who lacks discretion. The desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath. Verse 24, there is one who scatters, yet increases more, and there is one who withholds more than is right, but it leads to poverty. The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will also be watered himself. The people will curse him who withholds grain, but blessings will be on the hand on the head of him who sells it. He who earnestly seeks good finds favor, but trouble will come to him who seeks evil. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. Verse 29, he who troubles his own house will inherit the wind, and the fool will be servant to the wise of heart. The fruit of the, of the righteous is a tree of life, and he who wins souls is wise. Verse 31 and last. If the righteous will be recompensed on the earth, how much more the ungodly and the sinner. And the word is already blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And now the Old Testament reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55. And it reads, Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy, and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread and your wages for what does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good 
and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live, and I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The sure mercies of David. Indeed, I have given him as a witness to the people, a leader and commander for the people. Surely you shall call a nation you do not know, and nations who do not know you shall run to you because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Verse 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there but water the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. Verse 11, So shall my word that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out with joy and be led out with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing before you, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress tree, and instead of the brier shall come up the myrtle tree. And it shall be to the Lord for a name, for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. Thus says the Lord. Chapter 56 Keep justice and do righteousness. For my salvation is about to come, and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is the man who does this, and the son of man who says, Hold on it, who lays hold on it, who keeps from defiling the Sabbath, and keeps his hand from doing any evil. Do not let the son of the foreigner who has joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord has utterly separated me from his people. Nor let the Enoch say, here I am, a dry tree. For thus says the Lord to the Enoch's who keep my Sabbath and choose what pleases me and hold fast my covenant. Even them I will give in my house and within my walls a place and a name better than that of sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Verse 6. Also the sons of the foreigner who join themselves to the Lord to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants. Everyone who keeps the, from defiling the Sabbath and holds fast my covenant, even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices would be accepted on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. Verse 8. The Lord God who gathers the outcasts of Israel says, Yet I will gather to him others besides those who were gathered to him. All you beasts of the field come to devour. All you beasts in the forest. All you beasts of the field come to devour all you beasts in the forest. His watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. Yes, they are greedy dogs which never have enough, and they are shepherds which cannot understand. They all look to their own way, every one for his own gain from his own territory. Verse 12, Come now, come, one says, I will bring wine, and we will fill ourselves with intoxicating drink. Tomorrow will be as today, and much more abundant. And the word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ is already blessed. And now the New Testament reading from the book of Ephesians chapter 5, beginning and continuing actually at verse 17. And it reads, Therefore do not be unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Submitting to one another in the fear of God. Wives, submit to your own husband as to the Lord. For the husband is head of the wife, as also Christ is head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with washing of water by the word, that he might present her to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it just as the Lord does the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall be made one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Verse 33 and last. Nevertheless, let each one of you in particular so love his own wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects her husband. And the word is already blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen in Jesus' name.